What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to more Sekiro action. Long way down. That way. Cell 2, midair grappling hook. I mean, obviously. Oh no, jump, 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 jump. Crouch, 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 crouch. Man, it's a bullshit. That snake would not want me. I am not even big enough to be a snack to him. Not this big, but got a uh Shit. common name of them is uh red tail boa, but Colombian boa, whatever you want to call it. He's a pretty big boy. Not that big, obviously, but he's about uh I would say our snake's probably about six and a half, seven feet now. And he's fully grown. Nails won't grow any bigger than that, but still big enough to freak people out when they come over. Oh my god, no! No, 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 no! Oh, he turned around. Oh god. Oh my god, this neck is gonna make me crap my pants. Having a snake for a pet is honestly kind of weird, because they're, I mean, you can't really, like, cuddle with them the way you would, like, a dog or a cat. And for the most part, they're very, uh, like, instinctual, like, first time I ever got bit by them <coughs> was, uh, trying to feed them after I put a rat in the cage. My dumbass sat there and was like, go on, go on, snake, eat oh my god! <laughs> my dumb ass like waved my hand like go on and eat and um oh my god no that was dumb damn damn that was dumb that was really dumb um but yeah waved my hand like go eat and he just saw the motion and just boom hit me right in the hand ended up breaking a tooth off into my knuckle which uh that wasn't fun for a while it was just like god there's something i was like must have you know i probably got an infection or something from when he bit me went got like a tetanus shot all that jazz um and about a week and a half, two weeks later, lo and behold, a little fucking snake fang pops out of my knuckle. Second time he bit me, though, was just him being a dick. Because he had just finished going to the bathroom all over his cage. You know, snakes, you can't really train snakes to be like, you know, you need to, uh, to go potty over here. You can't potty train. So anyway. Oh my god! It is not good. <laughs> it is not good. I'm going to lose all of my resources. Um, but so, yeah, you just, you know, and the thing is, when a snake goes to the bathroom, they it's just everywhere. 
So there's just like Dookie all over his terrarium. So I take him out of it. Um, and what he used to do a lot is back when I had my old green screen that was held up by like half experience of loss. Yeah, okay, we know about that. Um, <clears throat> through uh, with my old green screen, I had it on like this this big backdrop bar, which is just a large bar that would, the sheet would hang from. So anyway. Uh, he used to love that thing, so it's just this, like, long, it's like a six-foot-long elevator bar. He would just sit there and crawl back and forth on the bar and have a regular old snaky time. So anyway, since I had to, to clean the terrarium, and we didn't have a second terrarium at this point, I uh, took him out and put him on the bar. I figured, oh, you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll put him up there, he'll hang out, so they're around for a bit. And, uh, so I take him out. Wow, excuse me. And while he's out... Oh! Oh, God. While he's out, um, <clears throat> he, like, kind of gets up on the bar. But not quite. And I'm like, what are you doing? Get on the bar. And he, like, looks at me. And he's probably, like, uh... I don't know, I'd, I'd say about even with my chest. And he's sitting there staring at me. And I'm like, go on, crawl on your bar. And instead, he just reaches out and strikes me straight in the middle of my bicep. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Ever since then, I haven't, uh, I haven't taken him out. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't get to come out anymore. He just, I mean, Paige will take him out every now and then, but after that, I'm just kind of like, ah, alright, well, if you're just going to be a dick and bite me. Loud noise if you snap them. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. If an illusion occurs, it is because someone created it. To crush the phantoms and return to reality, one must defeat the creator of the illusion. Snap seeds can be of great help in that regard. Wanna know? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Woo! Got some sugar, an idol. Anyway, what this really comes down to is snakes are not very good pets because for the most of the time they're sitting in a terrarium and all they do. It's just shit and Oh god no. You little shit. <laughs> Catalog scrap. Snap scene naturally grows in ravines and deep valleys. According to dozens of the sunken valley, such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the great serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the valley, the belly of the serpent in the valley. Yeah, that sounds like an absolutely fucking terrible idea. That's how you end up lunch. That's not that does not make you a bride. It makes you lunch. Hmm.
See, now I'm curious what's back that other path that I could have taken. Like, if I go that way, maybe I'll get an opportunity to stab the other eye or something. Sugar. It's the attack power. <laughs> Let's go look, I'm curious. through this place? Do we just uh, tango with Snake again? Or is it gone now because we cut out one of its eyes? Now the camera actually turns pretty well as you're running now. So, like, you don't even really, uh... Like, I was, like, kind of, you know, doing that, the claw maneuver where you're running and you got your, your index finger up holding the circle button down so that you can both sprint and direct, but... It actually seems to work pretty well even without doing that. Like, for quick turns, obviously it would, but otherwise it's... A decent job. I'm guessing this leads me to the castle. This is. This is that door we couldn't get open earlier. Just like a hidden, uh, hidden path that you can take. With some loot. Sugar. Damn, it sucks that I can't take out Headless right now, but... <clears throat> I mean, I think I think with enough attempts I could, but since I don't even have that uh that thing anymore, you know, I don't know if it would work. Pretty long fall to only take a uh, tiny bit of damage like that. serpent friend at all.
And now I want to know where the hell it went. Even when I was hauling ass and running, it sounded like it was right behind me. I guess it just slithered off into the valley. But I would imagine we, we end up finishing it off later, so. Alright, uh, let's see. Guard, 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 guard. Guard. God, I spent that level before I ended up getting dunked down by snake multiple times. the dust. Oh yeah, this is this is where uh, Dude Bro is. I'm not gonna go down there just yet. I actually didn't fight him in the demo, but half the uh, people in the room I was trying to fight him and it was just uh, what I remember, it was just a bunch of profanities and yelling, so sure it was fun. Take out big boy. This is why when people are like, oh new Dark Souls, like no. Like this this is basically Tenchu reborn. Nice. 
You know, as as easy as I'm making this look, I already know this is going to come back and bite me in the ass terribly. Because I'm going around like stealth killing everything that's like a big dude. And uh, when the time comes that I actually need to like fight one, I'm not going to know how because I've stealthed them all. And I'm just going to get my ass beat. And it's going to be like the most disheartening experience ever. Shards. Well, heavy coin purse. I think that's it for here. I think we're we're on to uh onto the boss. Yes. Um how am I looking on uh points? Mm, 79. Alright, well, I could get go. I fully expect to get my ass beat by this guy, but in the least I can, like, you know, do the, the first attempt of him. I mean, man, I'm just gonna sneak around the battlefield. They'll never even know I was here. I can damage the horse. That'll count as damage of him. my parry there, or my deflect. Um, is there... Oh. I just got stepped on by the horse. Hmm. So I think the biggest thing here is going to just be getting down the timing. So it looks like he does a fair amount of multi hits. Oh. What's this? <laughs> Oh. 
目覚めたようじゃなえいいんだよのなかなかに死にきれぬようじゃ。Alright, the more you die, the more dragon rot spreads. The more rot essence he has, the lower the chances. We know all that. Assassin thingy. Seed. How do I get rid of the rot essence? I know you can. Let's just teleport me. Oh, it's silly to purchase those. I got. Plenty. I wonder if this would help against that boss. Save up and get that. Rare beads. One short. Oh man. Alright, well, from here, I mean, the next thing to do. The Rada Estate is where we go next. So let's go back. Um, we're going to wrap this one up here, but you can guess what we're going to be doing. <laughs> the next episode oh man I just wish I could figure out how to get rid of the essence I don't actually you know what hang on before we do this I'm gonna jump back and see if I can do something to like cure them it's like money or experience. If it's something like, you need to give us your gourd seeds, I'm going to be like, no, I'm sorry, you're dying. I can't help you. ブッシドの庭。お、俺は。はい。我が氏道元より聞いたことがあります。流院は改正の力を授けることができる。しかしそれは常ならぬ力。繰り返せば。やがて淀みが溢れ関わったものに病として降りかかるその病を流害と呼ぶと知りながらそれを止められなかった私の不明ですすみませんその流害を治す術はわかりませんですが突き止めればまずは so quite quite literally the only cure is get good either you get good or everybody dies that's kind of fucked up but also fantastic at the same time so anyway wrapping up here we'll take on uh big bag yobu in the next part or whatever his name is so stay tuned and i'll see you guys then